Hi everybody, it's me, Brittany, uh, the Mitten Medium. I am coming to you tonight to do the live readings for the five winners that we drew on Friday. Um, I have commented their names, they are all aware of it, um, so we will wait until they show up. Just a few things, um, if for some reason one of them does miss this reading, um, I will still pull some cards for them and they can look at it, the video afterwards, or they can contact me and I will just send them the um, reading through Messenger. Um, just a couple of dates to be aware of. Um, in the future, um, if you are in the Kalamazoo area, or in the Michigan, West Michigan, Southwest Michigan, I should say, area, um, then I will be at Be Well Studios on October 12th, 1 to 3. Um, it, it's called, let me try to remember what the gathering's called, because there's more than one reader there. Um, it's called the Mystics, Saturday Afternoon Mystics and Healers Gathering at Be Well Studios. Um, and there will be a few different um, readers set up to offer their services. I know there's a Reiki. Um, I don't think there's going to be a massage offered, service offered this time, but in November there will be. Hi, Veronica. Thanks for joining us. Congratulations on winning. Um, I'm just trying to get into the video at right now so that I can see who is on and who is not um, so no, no. bear with me for just Two. a second oh, further. okay there's that um, let's see sorry my Facebook updated so I am unable to see who's watching and who's not watching anymore <laughs> so um, that's what I was looking for hi Melissa um, let's see here well we can probably start with the two that are here and then go from there with the readings um, I know it's only a minute after five o'clock um, so that Saturday afternoon healers and mystics gathering or however it's worded it's on my Facebook events um, check it out it happens every second Saturday of the month um, there's no entry fee for the for you to come and see what's all offered take some information if you want ask some questions say you're interested in one service or another you're not quite sure you're not quite ready to make the decision to pay for a service um, just come ask some questions um, we're all really nice We'd be more than happy to talk to you explain everything it's totally fine um, we're not scary people um, I do apologize for my voice um, if it seems like I'm yelling or if I'm talking too low it's because I'm battling a pretty nasty sinus and upper respiratory infection at the moment so that's why I sound like this. Um, I'm currently shuffling the cards for you, Veronica, since you were the first one here. And then we'll do Melissa's. Um, so, Veronica, was there a specific question that you had, or did you just want to see what the cards had in store for you? Um, while I'm waiting for her reply, um, I will keep on with the endless chatter of updates. I do have my unicorn bow in. I don't think you can see the unicorns. Oh, thanks, Veronica. Um, so, let's see. I covered that. Hmm. Just in general. Okie dokie. Well, let's see what we have. me. 
All right, cut the deck three times. All right, Veronica. Let's see here. Um, well, the first thing I notice is that the number seven is very um, prominent because you have the seven as the overall general um, energy, which is the seven of swords, and then you also have the seven of wands. Um, that's a very air and fire type of strong energy there so just keep in uh, mind that if the number seven means anything to you it did come up twice in this reading um and for only a few cards <laughs> that's that's a lot um so the first card is this one which is the toad which is the seven of wands um <coughs> excuse me um and the seven of wands tells of inner strength and resources this is that when all else is dark, you are the bright flame that helps everybody through. You are, <laughs> that's awesome. So this is great for you. Um, so with the seven of wands, it is, think of it as like a dark forest and you're, you've got the only candle, okay? So don't be surprised if other people are drawn to your inner strength because, hey, she knows what she's doing. She's strong enough to lead us through this. Um, Veronica knows what she's doing, let's let's follow her, or people may turn to you in their time of need because you are a solid type of foundation and you do have that inner strength that a lot of people don't have in their lives. Um, your next card is the Hermit card. Um, with this one, um, it's telling me that you really need to take time for you. Um, it's okay to go out and it's okay to be around people and it's okay to um, just keep giving and going but with the hermit it's really time to take a step back and reflect inward to do self care to really and this is I'm just going to say it the way it is coming to me it's not selfless to take care of you okay you cannot pour from an empty cup um so definitely take time for you um the hermit is definitely he's the energy that is i'm okay by myself sure i can go out and be around other people but when it comes down to it you have to be comfortable being by yourself and that's where the hermit is coming from with the owl here it's also telling of um wisdom and guidance and things like that which goes back to the first card um and then for your last card you have the six of cups which is the cicada um it is also happiness from the past um this is the time where you were completely childlike joy um this is the childlike wonder that fades in all of us um so you will be coming back into a point where something will trigger that feeling and you're just gonna want to cling to that and it's completely normal um just don't lose sight okay um it's okay to embrace that childlike wonder. It's okay to embrace that joy that's coming back to you. Just don't let it cloud your judgment for the things in your past because it feels like this, this joy that's coming in. Maybe somebody's um, trick or illusion to kind of steer you away from where you want to be and where they want and steer you to where they want you to be. Um, so just keep that in mind with this one um okay that was an odd and random thought so I'm just gonna say it um and take it as you will these messages that I get are kind of construed misconstrued they get all different because it's definitely 
not meant for me. It said, let the sound of the cicada guide you. So I don't know if that means just go wandering or when you hear the cicadas singing, just listen, take note, take note of your surroundings and definitely just be aware of that. But I very distinctly heard, let the sound of the cicadas guide you. Okay, Veronica, does that make any kind of sense for you? Oh, I didn't tell you the seven of wands meaning did I the overall energy of the reading is the seven of wands which which is um, proper use of secret knowledge okay um, don't let anybody get away with anything in your life don't let anybody um, pull the screen over your eyes the wool over your eyes don't let anybody use the smoke and mirrors to fool you yeah, because I feel like that's a big thing. Somebody who's definitely trying to use the smoke and mirrors on you. And that's not good. So just be aware. Let the cicadas guide you. <laughs> I'm glad that made sense. Um, let's see here. Thank you everybody for joining us. Um, this reading, um, unfortunately I only allotted enough time for the five winners of the drawing. Um, if you want to stay tuned to the channel, um, I will have more drawings coming up. I will probably do just an open reading next week um, when I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, so stay tuned, but I do apologize. I will be just sticking with the, the five winners tonight. You're very welcome, Veronica. I'm so glad that helped. Um, Melissa, are you still with us? Um, she is our second winner. <coughs> While I'm waiting for Melissa to comment that she's still with us, and if she has a question, um, I will be trying to get these back on the schedule every Sunday. I can't make any promises. I'm in the process of doing so many different things right now, including and not limited to... Um, finding a new apartment or a house um, just for a little bit more space. Hi Melissa, hi Renee. Um, if you two want to think about, and then I believe I saw Tony earlier as well, um, and Jennifer if you're with us, um, if you guys want to if have a question, please just send those forward that way we can just get those readings done for you. I'm glad you remember, Renee. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, let's see. I was saying something. I'm sorry. This cold has got my brain all over the place. message where did it go oh hey Jen <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> thank you for reminding her um let me find because give me just a quick second Melissa that didn't come through so let me Thank you for reminding Renee, Jennifer, <laughs> or Jen. I'm sorry, I don't know if that's what you go by. Um, let's see. Okay, Tony, we can, I'll write that down. Business. Um, just feel like I have a Not a problem, Melissa. We can definitely get you some guidance there. Um, sorry, I was looking for that. I know it. the notification had popped up, but it didn't show under these um, 
comments. So I had to go and do a little bit of digging for you, Melissa. No problem whatsoever. Um, hold on just a second. I have to mute this. Come on, computer. Mercury's not in retrograde, is it? I don't think it is. I think it came out of retrograde. All right. <clears throat> Woo! Let's do this. All right, Melissa. And then we got Tony and Renee. Um, do either of you have a preference of who goes first? If Facebook is... It all updated. My tablet's running on one version, my computer's running on another version, and my phone's running on a whole nother version. So, I'm just confused. I always blame all of my electronic and technical problems on Mercury retrograde, even when it's not in retrograde. I know that's terrible, right? Sometimes it's just an, an, a user error. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. All right, let's see here. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry. It wasn't an oh, no. It was a... Uh, I was going to pull one card, and they're like, no, don't pull that card. Pull the other card. I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Wow, Melissa. <clears throat> you have three major arcana cards here which is pretty significant considering one of them is the overall energy here just give me one second oh i have pomegranate tea and it's not very great i'm just ugh. okay so melissa your overall energy is the hierophant the hierophant is the teacher he is the the one that people seek for guidance, for physical accredited knowledge, okay? This is the expert in all things, okay? What this energy is telling me is that you may need to seek the counsel of someone like this, whether it's a religious leader and a teacher, a boss, um, somebody who is an quote unquote expert in their field, um, you may need to have a little bit of a counsel with them um and once you do reach out to that person what i'm getting is um once that connection is made everything will start to fall into place okay um and it's not going to be an overnight thing but you will start seeing the cogs start to go a little more smoothly you'll start seeing the gears not grinding anymore and they'll be more and more efficient um, I'm also seeing that this leader, this expert, is looking for someone to help them, to take over for them. Um, I don't know if that makes any kind of sense to you, but it, what I'm getting is kind of like the apprentice to the master type of thing. Um, so they are looking for somebody to train to take over for them so that they can retire and be, lead a peaceful life. Um, the first card that you have is the hanged man, which is the bat. Um, this is talking about turning the whole perspective on its ear. Look at it in a new, a new way. Look at it in a new perspective. Um, find your new truth and don't let anybody take that away from you just because it's not what everybody else thinks. Okay? So something keeps triggering really quick I'm sorry I have to figure out what this is <clears throat> something keeps triggering over here um, going against the grain I guess is what I'm seeing paddling against the stream that's not necessarily a bad thing okay don't just go with the herd find your own path find break away from everybody else going this way on the sidewalk and you go that way okay find the road less traveled and that will definitely help you okay the next card you have is the emperor card
sorry, I'm just looking at these numbers here. You have quite a few fives here in this. Okay. <clears throat> so, the emperor, the king of all kings, the um, master of all emotions of technology, of communication, of the groundness, of the passion. So, the king of all kings, the emperor, he is vision and power and healing. Once you reach this level here, um, once you start seeing things from a different perspective, you will reach this level and you won't feel as though you are reliant on anybody else anymore, okay? And I feel like that's a big thing for you right now is you feel like you are in debt to so many different people, but that's not the case, okay? Um, take this new road, take this new path, and you will become sustainable, you will become self-sufficient, you will become this entire governing body by yourself, if you will. I, that's, that's just what kind of came to mind. It's, you're not going to start your own country, I don't think. Maybe you might. Who knows? If you do, I might come live with you, because, you know, it, it might be an island, right? <clears throat> I'm... I'm I'm big on islands. <laughs> so, um, you will become this independent person that is in control of all aspects. You will control the emotions, you will control the money, you will control the communication, and you will control the passion. So you have your four elements there. You have earth, wind, fire, air, which are the four for the um, elements. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, so don't fret. Just... <laughs> I like islands too. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so don't fret. You're, you will get there. Um, you just have to seek this counsel and find the new path, okay? Now your last card, Melissa, is the Seven of Swords, which is proper use of secret knowledge. Woo! Look at us. We're going to start our own island community. It's going to be a tropical island going to be amazing. <laughs> um, so use what you learn from this quote unquote expert, right? Learn your new path. Learn how to encompass the mastery of all the elements, if you will, of whatever it is that you're needing and use that um, knowledge to your advantage. Okay. Um, this is <laughs> so I watched a video this card is a magpie and apparently in Australia magpies will attack bicyclists and for some reason <laughs> that just came to my mind so don't attack bicyclists but at the same time <laughs> use your knowledge that you are gaining to help others to establish boundaries say no this is the line in the sand. I'm not allowing this anymore. This is definitive. You cannot break these rules. I have set them in place. I have them in writing with a signature. Do not break these rules, okay? So, boundaries is definitely the last thing I want you to take away from this reading, okay? Don't let anybody push in on your boundaries, all right? Does that help at all, Melissa? I hope so. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh my goodness. So I added sugar to my pomegranate tea and it's not very great. I don't usually add sugar to it. I usually just drink it black and hoof -ta. Yeah, it's time to break away from that, Melissa. It's definitely time for you to find your own path. Follow your heart, follow your soul, and put down your foot. Put a line in the sand. Say, no, don't cross these. These are my boundaries. I am no longer your puppet. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm always here for listening or guidance or anything. I've been told I'm a great listener. I don't always talk this much, only on videos. All right, let's see, Tony and then Renee. And 
if you guys are enjoying the videos, please like and share um, the videos or the page or leave a comment or not a comment, um, a review. I like those too. It helps other people see that I'm not a fraud. Be the bird. Be the bird. Yes. <laughs> Be the bird. <laughs> I just laughed so hard at that video because I've always heard of magpies being happy, so signs of happiness and love and marriage. And then I saw this video about them attacking bicyclists and I was like, I strive to be that bird someday. Not that I like to attack people, but like just uncertain. Like people are like, oh, is it gonna be a happy <laughs> happy meeting today? Or, okay. All right, Tony. Let's see here. I'm shuffling for you. <coughs> Regretting wearing this sweater, I can tell you that. Get a little bit more air going. How will my business do in the future? I thought that's what it was, but I just wanted to make sure. Let's us see. For some reason, Tony, I feel like your business is um, creatively creative. You know what I mean? Um, like, you create things. Is that correct? Sorry, I'm still shuffling. Okay, Tony, the overall energy for your reading is the Nine of Swords, the loon. <laughs> when I pull this, I tell people I'm not a loon, but <laughs> it's just a, it's a little psychic medium humor, you know, because people are always like, oh, she's fake. She's crazy. No, I'm not a loon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I might have fever. <laughs> anyway, um, so the overall energy is the Nine of Swords, which often is anxiety, sleepless nights. Um, however, you need to get past this. You need to trust in your gut um, and your intuition, okay? <coughs> okay. I'm getting that you do have quite a strong intuition, gut feeling, if you will. Um, and sometimes when people are not accustomed to listening to their gut feeling or that first impression that they get of somebody, it will come through uh, from repressive into the, uh, in through dreams. Sorry, that was ridiculously hard to get out. It will manifest in your dreams is what I'm trying to say. So maybe put down like a dream log right next to your bed, write it all down. Um, see if anything important comes through there. Um, otherwise, just don't let the anxiety of the uncertainty get you, okay? You're, I can tell you straight up, I have suffered from depression and anxiety my entire life that I can remember. Um, the anxiety of the situation is always, always 100% worse than the actual situation. Okay, um, so don't let your anxiety get the best of you. However, this is also what I've learned. I'm just gonna spread a little bit of my wisdom, okay? Um, your anxiety, when dealing with a certain person, if a certain person spikes that anxiety, then you should probably get away from that situation. That's what I've learned, but if it is a about like business or should I go on this trip or should I take this apartment or this house or should I take on this extra burden? Um, don't let your mind overrule your gut and your intuition. 
I know I just kind of talked myself in circles there, so I hope you followed that. <laughs> Me too, Jen. Me too. <laughs> oh, man. Um. All right, now let's just get into the, the meat of the reading, shall we? That was just the overall energy, Tony. All right, so what? how will your business do in the future? The Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfilled. Okay, this is the ladybug. This is the, the happiness, the luckiness. This is, hey, this actually worked. I did it. This is where this is at, okay? This is the first card right off of the bat, and it's in the meat of the reading. The ladybugs, and there's two of them, okay? So this is the... You have the pick of the litter at this point, okay? That's the only way I can say it. I have the hiccups, I'm sorry. Um, you have, picture it like you have nine cups in front of you and they all have different things in them, okay? You can have one of them, you can have two of them, you can have all of them if that's what you want to do. You just have to set your mind to it and carry all those cups back to your car. That's all. That's the only thing stopping you from having all nine of those full of different things. You just have to carry them back to your car and get them home and take them out. That's all. So don't be afraid to accept all of the abundance and the good and the light and the happy that is coming in. I know most of the time we like to say, oh no, this is too good to be true. I can't possibly be doing this. This can't possibly be real, but it is, okay? This is happening. You, all you have to do is take it. It's yours for the taking, yours for the picking, all right? The crops are ripe. All you have to do is go pick your tomatoes. That's all it is. I don't know, tomatoes just came to my mind, so I don't know, maybe there's something with tomatoes. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, the next card you have is the Hermit card. Wisdom, vision, guidance, okay? Don't let anybody deter you from your vision, okay? You have a set goal. I, I'm... What I'm getting is the very set goal, okay? I'm a Taurus, so I know when somebody is set in their path because I am very, very, very stubborn, okay? And I get that somebody is trying to steer you one way or the other. Don't let them, okay? If that is not within your, your plan, don't let them do it. This is you. This is about you. Okay, if you have a business partner, sit down and explain it to them why your idea is better. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Why your idea is the path of least resistance, okay? Just do some research if you have to, make spreadsheets, make charts, confuse them with pretty colors if you have to, but don't let anybody veer you off of your path. The last card you have is the tower. Okay, now this card can be scary for some people. Don't let it be scary for you. <coughs> what it is, is a breaking down of everything that's not working and building it back up on a, found a solid foundation of what is working. So if there is somebody who is trying to push you off of your path or somebody who is trying to deter you from where you are meant to be, it may be time for a tower moment with that person, okay? This is the life, death, and rebirth. Not literal. This is just the breaking down of everything that isn't working, like I said, and building it up on what is working, okay? So it's time to spring clean, even if it's fall. Um, and mind you, this... There's nines in here. Woo! Three nines. Woo, girl. So... Oh, man. All right, Tony, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, so this can happen anywhere from nine weeks to nine months before this tower moment happens, okay? So don't be afraid and just let it, just let it go, okay? Um, it is a necessary breakdown in order for you to continue to grow and succeed, okay? Um, so don't be surprised when things start or you need that bird, yeah. <laughs> Go get yourself a magpie. And for people you don't like, 
give him a, a bicycle helmet and a stationary bike. That is the evilest, most amazing thing I've ever thought of. That is how we will shall deal with all of our enemies from here on out. Stationary bikes and magpies. <laughs> anyway, so I hope that helped Tony. Um, just don't let anybody waver off of let you don't let anybody push you off your path okay all right Tony all right Renee <laughs> oh goodness oh biscuits I just 52 pick up to myself hold for just one moment please okay there was only two of them thank goodness Let's see what did fall. All right, Renee, so you should know that you just had some jumpers here. We're not going to count them, but you should know that it is the Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. You have insight and protection, and you also have examine life's lessons. Ooh. All right. Let's try that again. Renee, did you have a question? <laughs> Jen, I have to say I definitely love your energy. It's awesome. I'm so glad that it helped, Tony. Um, and if anybody needs more guidance, I'm here. Um, just a message away. It might take me a couple of hours to respond to you. Um, I believe I have my phone number on the Mint Medium, like the Facebook page. So if you need an immediate answer, just text me. Don't call me. Text me. I don't answer phone numbers I even know. Um, that's just how I am. I'm a texter. So... Um, so yeah, if you need immediate information, just text me. If I have my cards handy, I'll just pull them. If not, then I will commune with the dead. It's a little dark humor for ya. I wish that everybody could use that joke, you know? But unless you're actually a medium and can speak to the dead, you can't really commune with them. All right, Renee, I don't know what's going on with your energy, but it just happened again. So let's try again. <coughs> I know, Veronica, right? Texting is so much easier. I always tell people, because I read it on Facebook somewhere, it says, before you pick up the phone to call me, I want you to think, is this something that I can text? All right? That's just how it is. Um, they even have those fancy, like, word, like you can like do voice clips now. So you can, if you, it's too much to type, you just say it all, send it, and then when I have time, I will read it or listen to it. All right, we're getting down to business here. <laughs> so do I, Veronica. <laughs> uh, it just means that there's very chaotic energy at the moment. It could very well be just um, someone from the other side wanting to get their message out um so it's most of the time when that happens it's really funny because it's multiple fa past family members who want their <laughs> their messages to come through and they're fighting that's all it is they're like no it's my turn no it's my turn no it's my turn it's like toddlers that I'm the only one that can see them. I really love to meet other mediums. So if any of you all know any, you let me know. Because I want to know if they deal with this stuff too. Alright, so we have gotten some pretty good shuffles, Renee. Let's see, they must have picked who was going to tell the message. Alright, let's cut them before we jinx it. Renee, before I flip these cards, uh, this is 
I don't really like to do medium readings over the the Facebook live um, but do you have a grandmother in spirit because I keep getting like a grandmotherly feeling huh I shuffled these cards so hard and that one keeps coming up I think I might need some new glasses already. <laughs> might get, I'm getting older. <laughs> I have to pull them away. <laughs> I hope, oh, I hope all of you just laughed at that too. Mm. Also, my coffee cup says, there's a chance this is wine. It's not. It's tea. But I love this cup. There, it was it came in a set. <coughs> and um, the other one says, because adulting is hard and then this one says there's a chance this is wine <laughs> I know anyway <clears throat> let's get on with it your overall energy Renee is the page of wands now what does this mean this is the chameleon this is the news of changing environments wine would be good too not gonna lie um it's it's interesting if I drink uh, aromatizing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think I might need to get some when I go to the store for this cough. Um. So, <laughs> news of changing environments. The chameleon. Okay. So this is your overall energy, Renee. Um. What this means is what I'm getting. I should say because pages are the messengers I think I asked you this last time something was changing <laughs> love you too Jessica oh thanks for joining us hello everybody who I did not say hello to when you came in I apologize sorry my brain's a little bit scattered here I'm just talking to everybody um because this page of wands is throwing me for a loop. I'm not going to lie. I've got seven different things coming at me with this card. <sighs> yeah, I'm just listening. Sorry. Um, so I guess I'll just pick out the main ones here. Okay. So. Stop. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely like a grandmother or a great aunt type of energy that's coming through with this one. So, <clears throat> stop. Okay, this is for Renee, just so everybody is clear. Stop. <laughs> it's just, it's very clear. Just stop. Okay, now to elaborate on that, stop being what everybody else wants you to be. Okay, stop changing you to please other people. That is the main message coming through. Hit me in the forehead strong, okay? Stop being what other people want you to be. What's in the tea? It's sugar. I put two in the sugar. Oh, hey, Jessica, I'm so glad. You've been here since Renee. Oh, wait. Since you were reading. I'm just reading Renee though. Did you just come in? I don't know. But anyway. <coughs> <coughs> Forgive me, it's getting hot in here and upper respiratory does not like hot. Okay. So we got that one straight out of the gate, right? Stop being what other people want you to be. Now the other one that was coming through with this card was news of changing environments that could very well be a physical vacation maybe you're moving to the island with us I don't know we'll see if you want to you can um or this just could be change uh, changing environment hmm. I keep seeing like either moving or there's definitely boxes involved here 
So I don't know if you're moving offices or office buildings or you're just putting things in storage and bringing things in, but there's definitely boxes involved in this changing environment. It could very, it could even go as far as redecorating. Um, so just be aware of that as well. Okay. Um, but there, I definitely am getting boxes with that changing environment like packed boxes not Amazon boxes okay all right the first card in the meat of the matter here we have the fool card which is the coyote um this is the the journey's beginning this is the number zero okay we are right at the beginning of the um the thing here right at the beginning of the journey. Um, I don't plan a move. It could just very well be um, packing things into boxes and redecorating or painting or there's definitely something changing within your environment. Or one of your kids are moving home. That could very well be it too. Hmm. I don't know something there's there's boxes involved and I don't think they're Amazon boxes anyway the fool card today is the first day of the rest of your life exactly I like that um so we're moving forward right this is what you are doing you just have to take that step Renee it is imperative <laughs> It is imperative that you take this next step. It is absolutely crucial for you to start this journey. Whether it is something small, a new hobby, a new business that you're starting on your own, or something... Ooh, that one kind of gave me the goosebumps. So if you're dabbling with the idea of starting your own business or starting a hobby that will pay you, this is definitely the time. Take the leap, okay? Um, it's definitely about that, hey, it's time, okay? The next card we have is the Judgment card. You have two Major Arcana cards right back to back. Just so you know, that's a pretty big thing. Three if you count pages as major arcana um, <clears throat> so this is a whale um, new depths of creativity okay go where nobody else can go I'm not saying run a submarine and go to the ocean floor um, but maybe just maybe it's time for you to think a little bit outside the box there Okay, um, hmm, this, okay, um, uh, someone's judgment has really hit you hard. That's what I'm seeing here. You need to tell that person to go F off, okay? Um, I'm trying to keep this PG, but do not. And I repeat, do not allow anybody else to dictate your actions, okay? If you truly enjoy doing something, do it. As long as it doesn't hurt you, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else, do it. Do not let anybody else dictate your actions. Stop becoming what other people want you to be. Stop changing yourself to please others, okay? It's time to please you. It's time for you to become the badass that we all know you are, and be you okay um whales are not small creatures and the creativity inside of you is not small either okay it's going to make splashes and it's meant to don't try to make it a no wake zone just let those waves roll out okay because the next one we have and i shuffled these cards i swear is the nine of cups okay happiness wish fulfilled the the ladybugs Okay, they're back. Um, 
don't let anybody take your hopes and your dreams and your wishes away from you just because you can excel above them in business, okay? Do not allow them to bring you down below them just because they don't want to see you succeed. You can do this, okay? The, the chameleon is saying stop allowing others to dictate who you are. Stop allowing others to dictate your actions. You can be great. Just have to let yourself. That's all. You just have to start the journey. That's all. You just have to start. Because once you do, wish fulfilled. Okay? Did that help at all? Did that kind of make any kind of sense? Sorry, I know it's gross to keep just sniffling like that. My ears are plugged. You know, the one thing about being a medium is when my ears are plugged and I can't hear very well in the human realm, I can hear better in the spirit realm, which when one is sick is not the best thing ever, okay? They don't even have helpful information. Well, maybe they do. I just am not listening to them. Put bar soap under your feet. I did put the Vicks on my feet the other night, though. It made my, feel, my toes feel weird, so I didn't do it again. But I listened to that one. I hope I didn't scare you, Renee. I really hope I did not. <coughs> All right, it looks like we have one left, which is Jennifer Clark Kinsey. Um, I don't know if she is with us, but I will still do her reading on here. Thanks. It, it helped. I'm not gonna lie, I felt great the next day sleeping with stuff on my toes was hard because I had to put socks on. I'm not a big socks sleeper, all right, unless I'm real sick and real cold. That's an upside down smiley face. All right, I don't think Jennifer Clark Kinsey is here, so she is in my group, and I believe she just broke her wrist. Um, she is in my T and Tarot group. Um, on Saturday afternoons, fourth Saturday of every month. Um, so she's probably not in here. So I will get with her and send her the reading. Um, so Jen, it looks like you were the lucky spot taker since you know your names match up. It's good juju and stuff. I have the citrus chewables, Melissa. Um, I've been doing the Theraflu, which has actually been helping a lot more than I thought it was because I didn't use it this morning and then I felt like absolute baloney it may have been um Renee <laughs> um she if she's a jokester spirit or she, if she was a jokester in life then per sense of humor definitely went through with her um if she seems like a very bossy type of person not a bossy but a hey it's time but i'm gonna also make you laugh at the same time um motherly that's the word i was looking for her name motherly type um not bossy <laughs> all right jen did you have a question at all so weird seeing myself on the other screen I'm just shuffling I'll have to try it I have to go down to my local store after this video here get some more I have the work tomorrow Pretty soon, I hope to be doing 
ratings full time um, to pay my bills. Um, so far, I have given away more than <laughs> I have actually sold, so I have to stop that. But I like doing these live videos. Um, so if you guys know anybody who is interested in purchasing a rating, um, I'm at the studio. I have office hours. They don't want to message me and they just want to stop in. Um, my office hours will be on my events page. Um, there's that. I appreciate all of you. Lavender on the toes works too. Ooh, I'll have to try that. Fate take its course. That's risky. I like that. Living dangerously. Alright, let's see. It's a good group of people tonight. I'm not gonna lie, y'all are having an awesome energy. I'm so glad. What is with the Seven of Swords? Magician. No, I'm reshuffling. Alright, Jen. If these cards come back up, we'll just read them. But, uh... We just got those cards. <laughs> Most of them. Um, anyway, let me continue talking here. Um, I'm trying to fill dead air. I keep hearing um, from people who I ask for critiques on the videos. Um, I usually have too much dead air while I'm talking. <sighs> That's what they were too! like oh man um so where was I anyway yeah my goal is by this time next year to have a little shop open doing readings have some merchandise um offer different services counseling well not really counseling but like coaching um teaching um because the tarot is very interesting to me. I love it. Um, it's an extension of myself. So, is that a play on words? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let's try again. One more time, and then we'll cut the deck. My nose is running like a sieve. Woo! One, two, three. Okay. The overall energy, Jen. No, it's not spiked tea. I literally think I might be running fever. <laughs> Where are you going to be located? Um, I am currently at Be Well Studios on Millam and Portage. Um, I, I believe I have that information in the events of all the different times I'm going to be there. Um, the teen tarot classes are there as well. Um, office hours are there. Um, as for my own little shop, it'll probably be around Pawpaw area. Um, I have to see what their laws are here in Pawpaw because most places don't want a hippy dippy shop and that's what I want. I want incense, I want tie dyed, I, wanna, I want the skirts and the beads and all that fun stuff, right? I just love those shops. Okay. <clears throat> getting off track here the knight of pentacles Jen come into your power that's pretty it's pretty straightforward there um, it's also a cougar and there is um, the S word right around here the white S word um, not the poop but that stuff that we get in the winter time um, so just be aware of that maybe you have cougar tendencies in the winter time um, thanks guys. I appreciate all of your support, everybody. I really do. Um, I know our Mint and Medium family is growing. Um, so I definitely appreciate everybody's support and continued support. It absolutely amazes me and I love it all and I love each and every one of you for all of your support. Holy moly. Jen. Okay. I get where they're coming to your powers coming at now, alright? Because you have... Holy biscuits. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I am. Um, the High Priestess. I know I added an extra T on there. 
the Empress, and the Queen of Cups. Yes, the Queen of Cups. These are some pretty heavy hitters here, Jen. Okay. Um, I don't know. There's just a cougar. I don't know. Um, these are pretty heavy hitters here. Okay. So. Wow. Okay. So let's just get right into it. With this reading all together, plus this overall energy, the the Knight of Pentacles here. This is the protection card. Knights are protection cards, okay? Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, he is the slowest moving knight because he's very methodical. He's very thought out. He's, I'm gonna think every step through before I make a move. This is the, I have contingency plans on top of my contingency plans on top of my contingency plans, okay? I know this type of energy because I am this type of energy so that is what I'm getting with you okay also with this coming into your power um, it's time to stop downing yourself it's time to take the step up and say hey no this is me I'm not going to allow anybody else's energy or negativity to affect me because I am the boss okay I am the bomb diggity I don't know if people still say that but it just came to me as the bomb diggity so uh girl you got it you're rocking it just do it so just allow that okay um the high priestess this is the the intuition card Okay, this is the weaving of fate card, which is kind of funny since you said let's just let fate take its course here. This is the hey. <laughs> wow again. I don't know if those vows are good or the question marks. Um, but these are hey, don't see okay, let's the web here right oh my nose I'm so sorry um do not allow anybody to break your web okay these webs are intricate and they are masterpieces I guess that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing like an artist creating and that's what I'm getting with this web when I mentioned it is creating and it's a masterpiece and that is you you are a work in progress you are a creating yourself into a masterpiece okay you are working on yourself into the high priestess um, energy okay this is hey I actually have this very strong intuition I trust my gut I trust my intuition I am able to distinguish what is this and what is that okay um this is the I trust myself to follow myself okay that's what I'm getting there now with the Empress card this is the queen of all queens mind you it's also a dolphin okay this is the creativity the promise to yourself and the fertility that I can create anything that I put my mind to okay this is the I am calm I am confident I am secure in myself and I will succeed now with the Queen of Cups it's a cricket cricket again with the intuition okay um, this is the I believe in myself okay this is the I follow myself it's also with there being two intuition cards here it may be time to listen to yourself a little bit more and stop doubting yourself um, and don't be afraid just how is it that it's trying it's trying to come through is a different okay um, so when you hear crickets right 
if you're far away you can hear them well when you get closer they stop chirping right listening to your intuition until you get used to that is very very similar um just don't scare yourself off and listen to the messages that you have coming to you like hey this is the right choice for me hey this is not the right choice for me that person's bad that person's in an innately good so just listen to that and hone it so that it will help you and it will guide you to where you want and need to be okay I hope that helped well I don't have enough air to blow out that candle that's sad anyway I hope that helped and I love you all very very much thank you again for all of your continued support um, again if you need me message me if you need me immediately text me um let's see i have events on my event page when i will be at the studio doing live readings not live readings but in person live readings you know what i mean um and until next time i love you all i hope you have a very great night i'm gonna go to the store oh i'm so glad jen that's awesome um thank you veronica thank you all to all of my winners um stay tuned i will be giving away more more giveaways um i've been making oh i did it that time Woo, so proud of myself whoop, whoop. anyway <laughs> so um i'm gonna start making some more candles i got different sizes thank you tony um so I'm going to make some holiday bags. Thanks, Veronica. I'm going to go to the store and get some more Theraflu and some different medicine because this is not fun and I have to work tomorrow. Um, so stay tuned for those. Oh, holiday bags. That's where I was. They're either going to be bags or they're going to be baskets. Um, so either way, I will start posting those after I start creating them. Um, they will probably have small tapestries or runners candles bath bombs or bath fizzes um and different little things probably affirming messages as well um, probably some gift certificates as well um so stay tuned for those and hopefully i will get my shop up and running soon i love you all and have a great night